Hey guys, so it was requested that I do a machine manicure. So today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. As you can see, my cuticle is attached to the nail plate. If you guys haven't watched how to remove cuticle without bleeding, I highly recommend that you go watch that video because it is kind of important that you really know the structure before you go putting a spinning diamond bit drill all up and underneath your nail. And it'll make more sense as to what I'm doing here. So first, I am going to start by pushing back the cuticles. I know this probably seems counterproductive because we're using the machine to do all this stuff, but we're not. So I'm taking this drill bit, which I got from Nail Labo, and this bit is amazing. If you are a beginner, I would highly suggest that you purchase this because the sides of this bit are completely smooth. You cannot cut yourself with this at all. And if you don't push back your cuticles, this bit will actually do it for you. Now with your drill on the lowest setting, you're going to take this needle bit and place it on the nail without putting any pressure on it. As I mentioned, it is smooth. However, you're going to keep yourself in the habit of not doing that. Starting in the middle, go from right to left, which means that my drill is spinning in the opposite direction from left to right, again with your drill spinning in the opposite direction. And because this is literally just pushing the cuticle back or lifting the cuticle, I'm only using this at the proximal nail fold. So this is going to completely lift any tissue off of the nail plate, which is super important as you guys know when you're about to put on gel or um, nail enhancements of any sort. So next, I'm going to take a diamond bit. The one that I'm using got this from the Nail Hub. And I would prefer a much smaller bit to do this step. So I wouldn't recommend this one for beginners because you really want to make sure that you're not touching the natural nail plate because it will fall it away. I'm going in the space between the nail fold and the natural nail plate. I am not touching the surface of my nail at all. All. as a matter of fact what I'm doing is I am lifting up I hope you guys can see this motion I'm gonna slow it down as best I can I'm actually pulling away from the natural nail and when I get to the lateral nail folds I am putting just a little bit of pressure because I want to get rid of any callus or keratinized skin in that area now once I've done this step you'll see that we've created a lot more space than what was there previously so now all that's left is the lifted cuticle that was on the nail plate. You can remove this with a drill bit, but I prefer to cut it. As you guys can see, doing all of these steps has exposed the cuticle very easily and now you're able to see what you're actually cutting. So now I'm going to just go a step further and take a moon or ball diamond bit and I'm going to remove, again, any excess keratinized skin cells from around the nail plate. So the final step, and you can skip this, but I do notice that it makes a difference. I'm going to take a corundum bit, and this is going to polish the skin. Ideally, this would be a round bit. I don't really like anything with a flat edge on it because it makes it easy to cut yourself. If you leave it rough, then essentially um, you're going to be more susceptible to hangnails and stuff like that. And of course, you don't want to forget your cuticle oil just to hydrate and really condition the skin. So there you go, guys. That is how I do my machine manicure. If you guys have any tips for me, because like I said, I am new to this, do leave them in the comments section. And also, if you have any recommendations for your favorite bits. And I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.